Hey guys, it has been so long since I have filmed a video, at least what feels like it. And you can probably tell why by the sounds of my voice. Um, but just to kind of recap you, I did, I was like feeling really great at the Arnold. And then Sunday, Jason and I didn't go to the Arnold. We um, flew home. We've actually never been to the Arnold on Sunday, but we flew home that day. And while flying home, like I just like progressively throughout the day started feeling like really lousy and like my skin hurt and stuff. So like when we got home that night, I'm like, I'm just going to go to bed, like sleep this off, rest this off. I'm probably just like exhausted from traveling for two weekends. Um, but I fell asleep at like 6.30 that night, woke up the next day and I was like, I could not go back to work. Um, I basically missed work like all of last week. I made it through like one whole day and I probably shouldn't have been there. Um, but I went to the doctor Monday, got diagnosed. Like I, w I was proud of myself because normally I'm like, I'll tough through it. I don't want to go to the doctor. And I knew this was different. And I went and got diagnosed with strep throat um, Monday morning at urgent care. So they put me on antibiotics Monday morning and I've been on meds all week. Today is now Sunday. It's like one full week of feeling crummy. Um, I am starting to feel a little bit better in terms of my strep throat, but then I also like simultaneously got a really bad sinus infection that got super bad Friday that I went on another med for. Um, so like I'm just still really congested and feeling really yucky and um, so it didn't really, I didn't have energy to actually make good videos plus my voice, like this is probably the most normal my voice has been all week. Um, I've been trying not to talk a lot, you know, so that's why I haven't really posted anything. I've literally been laying around not doing much of anything. Um, so today's the first day that I woke up and went to the gym. It's been over a week. And some people have different like schools of thought on training when you're sick. Um, I was contagious and like I don't like people going to the gym if you're contagious. I think that's not cool like to get other people sick. So if you're like not sure if you're contagious, you really shouldn't be going to the gym. Um, so I was, so I mean, I didn't even feel good enough to move off the couch, you guys. I was not in a position to go train. So you just have to kind of listen to your body when you're sick and depending on how sick you are. And I think I really just needed the week to basically not move and kind of worked out to be a nice little deload week for me, I guess. But um, I did go to the gym today as hard as it was to like have the energy to go. I went and I did some like super light cardio on like the arc trainer type deal, which I almost never do those because I feel like I don't get a good workout on them. But I today just wanted to like focus on moving, getting some blood flow, getting a little bit of a sweat, I guess, but not really. Like I just want it to move essentially. So I did that in the steam room, which was very helpful um, to kind of like drain things a little bit, not to be too detailed, but yeah, so that's where we're at. I just wanted to film a little bit today to catch you guys up. A lot of people um, were reaching out to me on my other social media accounts. I've been trying to be more active on Insta stories. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, Kara Corey Fit Life, I am using Insta stories now and I'm trying to do different stuff ish than what I'm putting on Snapchat. Like everyone uses both still. So I'm trying to not do the same exact thing. So if you follow me in the same spots, you know, you'll get two different selfies. So that's kind of my game plan there. And Twitter, I've been way more active on Twitter too. So those are good places to follow me if um, you want to know what's happening with me more timely. YouTube just takes a bit longer to, to get updated. So I went to the grocery store and grabbed a few things. Nothing crazy, but I thought I'd show you. Like in terms of being sick, um, very strange for me too, guys. Like I never have a problem with my appetite. Like that's never an issue for me. And I have not had an appetite this week. Like which really I don't think has been a good thing. I've been force feeding myself like to eat like protein and vegetables and I'm like, ugh, gag me. Like I would rather not eat, you know? Like, and I hate force feeding if I'm not hungry. At the same time, I also know eating very low calorie isn't gonna help me recover and it's not gonna help me, you know, gain my strength back. So I'm just trying to 
you know, I haven't been force feeding myself like a ton. You know, I've been probably lower carb than I have been lower carb um, than my usual, but that's fine. I haven't been moving either, so my, you know, your metabolic needs are different when you don't move for a week. So it's kind of all balances out, I guess. But I have been trying to be good about like forcing in healthy foods and micronutrients, um, taking my vitamins drinking my greens drink. I've been staying super hydrated all week and everything too, but I just grabbed a few things this morning because I'm going to really try to make sure I hit um, higher macros today, but I just really wanted some fruit. So I grabbed, New York sucks this time of year, you guys, for produce. It really does, but I grabbed a couple grapefruits. Now actually, I think I have um, a special little, yeah, yeah, buddy, grapefruit spoon. This baby's the bomb. It's got the, I don't know if it's focusing in, it's got the little ledges, little sharp edges on it. So I'll cut it in half and then I can just scoop it out. I love it. Um, my grandmother um, used to always have grapefruits for us, so it's kind of a sweet memory. And then I grabbed some Bartlett pears, so great vitamin C from both of these guys. Um, I'm going to make an egg white omelet for breakfast with a little bit of goat cheese, which a serving of goat cheese is six grams of fat. That's not bad. Good source of calcium. And then do some tomato in it as well. And I think I have other veggies in the fridge too. I'm going to throw in there. And then I'm going to do some potatoes with it. And potatoes, some people are like under the misconception that white potatoes aren't good for you. That like, I don't know where people get this from that like sweet potatoes are the only potato that's good for you. That's totally not true. Two great sources of carbohydrates. Um, I just have like a taste preference, like I go back and forth between what potato I want, but I love white potatoes and they're actually a great source of potassium. Um, and there's other like trace like minerals and things like that in there too, but great source of potassium. So that's good for me right now being sick and not moving around as much. Um, and then I also grabbed some green beans because I, I, I had bite meals at the Arnold Expo with like just cut green beans in it. I've kind of been craving those. And grab some yogurt just to get like some extra probiotic in my diet for the fact that I'm on antibiotics. And unfortunately, as much as I, you know, don't like antibiotics because they do destroy your good gut bacteria, sometimes they're necessary, you know, to be able to get through sickness. So I'm going to add in some extra probiotics. I think that's it. And drink some water. So right now I'm going to make up some breakfast, brunch, whatever you want to call it. And even though like I don't feel hungry and I think part of that too is like because I can't taste anything. Like I've never had this issue where I've been so congested that I couldn't taste food. So um, I'm sorry, this isn't meant to be a complaining video at all. It's just kind of updating you guys with where I'm at. So I'm going to make some food and I'll share that with you. This has been my life right here, spending all my money at the drugstore disinfecting the counters because I was trying not to get Jason sick, but he is also sick. Lysoling behind me everywhere I go. I was doing some cup of noodle this week because it's like all I could taste. Robitussin, Theraflu, multiple bags of throat drops. <laughs> so yeah, Kenny Drugs got all my money this week. For my egg white omelet, I'm going to cook up some garlic so that I can hopefully taste it. I'm gonna put some red onion in there, some tomatoes, I'm gonna cut up some bell pepper, and do some goat cheese on the inside, and then probably put some avocado on top. And that's gonna be my omelet. did not flip into an omelet nicely because my pan sucks so it's kind of just like a scramble now with some avocado on top and then I've got like four ounces of white potato I'm not sure if I'm just gonna do spray butter or if I want some ketchup on it and 
Due to the size of the feast, I'm just gonna do one half of my grapefruit right now, and I might eat the other half later, but this is gonna do it from a slamming micronutrient dense breakfast. Three hours later. <laughs> so I just got out of the shower because I thought I'd feel better if I like clean myself up a bit. I am uh, getting to my client emails right now. I have been horrible this week at um, keeping up with emails. So if you're someone that's emailed me inquiring about coaching and I haven't gotten back to yet, I'm just trying to first get caught up on all my client emails because I really wasn't able to be um, as involved as I wanted to be this week not feeling well. So I'm trying to, I've got to prioritize all my clients first and then I will respond back to other people inquiring. I'm not sure yet. I may be full at this time. I kind of have to look at um, my workload. I have some people sign up ahead of time and then start in a few weeks just to secure their spot. So just a heads up, I'm in a towel, not naked, but I don't have the energy to get dressed yet. So I'm gonna answer some emails and get caught up. It, there really just is not good lighting anywhere at my house right now, but it's crazy because it's almost seven o'clock at night out and it's still light out, which is awesome and also kind of weird because I need need to go to sleep soon, as crazy as that sounds. Um, so I've just been pretty much sitting here like the rest of the day working on client emails and things like that. I'm done with those. I've pretty much caught up on all my client stuff. I'm going to work on writing myself, um, a little crooked, sorry. I'm going to work on writing myself a lifting split right now for the week. I'm going to kind of start very light this week since I'm still under the weather and so I just want to like ease into it but I do want to make sure I'm like lifting this week and starting to work on getting my strength back um, but again not going to be like pushing myself to the limit because I definitely don't feel fully recovered so I think that's really important um, just having myself an MTS way cookies and cream protein shake right now just to get them some protein because I don't know if you guys are like me but it can be really hard to get them protein when your appetite's down and that's when it's great to have something like a whey protein supplement on hand so you guys know that my discount code is Kara for 5% off and I've got a link in the description box if you guys want to buy some from Tiger Fitness um I'm getting out of breath talking <laughs> that's so bad um but I did want to say because we finally just posted the Arnold video today, um, just like a quick little recap edit that Jason did, and normally we're like both like very quick on that stuff, but with both feeling under the weather, we're a little late to the party on that, but I think you guys will really enjoy that video. Um, it's really special to me because I feel like from getting sick I didn't really get to like kind of process how great the Arnold was, and that was my third year going, and it's crazy for me to think about the three years that I've gone, like, just how everything's grown. Like, my channel, how MTS Nutrition has grown, um, you guys, like, the support system that I've had from doing YouTube and how it's changed, like, over the three years, like, um, and meeting you guys all. Like, I can't even thank you enough. Um, I just really, really appreciate when you guys stop by, you guys took the time. There's like so many people to see and do at that expo. It can be really hard to do it all. And so for those of you that did take the time to come by, you guys are so great. Like this is how like I know I have the best followers and I'll like never care how many people, I don't even like followers, but whatever word, you got to use something right. But, um, like it's not like you guys come by and you're like, I want to be more than someone that like looks good, obvious, <laughs> clearly, um, but someone that's inspiring for reasons other than aesthetics and for doing bikini competitions. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, you know, you guys came up to me and it wasn't like you were like, can I get a picture? And like, that's it. Peace out. Like you guys had amazing things to tell me, like the feedback you give me on the channel and like, it's always refreshing to hear what people love and you know, like hands down like the main thing you guys tell me time and time again and I know it's what sets me apart from other youtubers 
people love my dietitian talks and that just brings my heart so much happiness like you guys don't understand how much happiness that brings me to hear that that's like what stands out to you about the channel um I was trying to do them at least weekly and I know I've been inconsistent with that and I will get back to regular programming very very soon um with that but you know, the dietitian talks mean a lot to me. Like, I put a lot of time in them, and it's also, you know, I want to be a good representation of the profession of dietetics and, you know, being a forward thinker in the world of dietetics. And not all dietitians are like that. Some dietitians do just live in their little their little small box, in their little world of whatever their specialty is. And, like, it's just really... I'm really passionate about it when I do those videos like I get really nervous for them and and I'm always very concerned with trying to give um, the best uh, you know evidence-based research I can give and you know I like to give my opinion because I have opinions um, but I also try to keep it you know the information in a way that you guys can relate to and understand and and make your own opinions about things like I don't I don't do those videos for you to necessarily for you to take on the same opinion as me. You don't have to do that, but I just like kind of opening your mind to different ways of thinking. And so it's really cool to me that, that that's the one thing that stands out for you guys. So I'm really, really so honored to have you guys part of this channel and really can't thank you enough for those of you that came up to me at the Arnold and said hi. Um, please make sure you comment on the Arnold video so I can put your handle name to your face. That helps. Um, and thank you. You guys mean the world to me. We had a blast. Jason and I both had a blast at the Arnold. Um, thanks. You know, it's been great representing MTS Nutrition and starting um, RD Nutrition this year. And I've got cool stuff coming with that. Um, so a lot more is on its way. And like I said, as I'm feeling better, we will be back to regular programming on this channel. So I just wanted to update you guys in this video. Thank you all and more to come. See you in the next one.